Hi guys, this is just a quick video to help with today's maths in case any of you needed the hands. Alright, today we're going to be looking at two ways to do the multiplication 319 times 5. This is the first example in the lesson materials that I've um, posted on Seesaw. So the first way we're going to do it is the grid method. This is the way that we've been looking at already and you should already have an idea of how to do it. And after that, we're gonna look at how to do this using the ladder method. All right, the first way that we're gonna do it is the grid, myth, grid method and you lay that out like this. So we are timesing it by five and we're timesing the 319 by the five. So we're gonna put 310 and nine because we've got hundreds here our tens here and our ones there. So what you do is you times the 300 by the five first, starting in this hundreds column. We know five times three is 15. So we know five times 30 is 150 and five times 300 is 1,500. Then we're gonna look at this tens column. Five times 10 we know already is 50. And if we know our five or our nine times table, we know five times nine is 45. What we have to do then is add up all of these different parts, our hundreds, our tens, and our ones. So we've got 1,500, add the 50, and add the 45. If we add up all of those together, we know 50 add 45 is 95, add the 1,500 will be 1,595. Right, that's the grid method. That's the way you already should know how to do it. But I'm gonna show you how to do the ladder method this lesson. So we're gonna do 319 times the five. We're gonna do it exactly the same way, but we're gonna lay it out in a different way. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is just like the other one, five times 300, starting with the hundreds column, five times 300 is 1500, just like that other column. Then you'd move on to your tens. 10 times five is 50. If you can see, I've laid it out so that my ones are in the same column, and my tens are in the same column. You'll see why I've done that that way in a minute. All right, what we'll do next is, the, the, we've done the hundreds, we've done the tens, we're gonna look at the ones. So the nine times five is 45. Now, if I put these all in the right columns, we should be able to add them up. If we add the ones column up, we get five. If we add the tens column up, we get nine. There's only a five in the hundreds column and there's only a one in the thousands column. If you look, you should be able to see we've got the same answer. All right, so we've got the same answer whether we use the grid method or whether we use the ladder method. The questions that I've posted have asked you to use the ladder method. So it works the same way as the grid method, it's just a different way of laying them out. Instead of going across in a grid, it's gonna go up and down like a ladder, just how I've shown you there. If you have any questions, feel free to post me a comment or a message and I'll try and help you out as quick as I can. All right, thanks guys.